Welcome back to Android's Q&A, my name is Jason, this is where we try and answer your most pressing Android questions. Like when Vinay asks, what is the best way to record my phone screen? Do you really want to record your phone screen? Could go badly if you're not careful. Like the guy who confused his Google search bar with his Facebook status bar. <sighs> How to get a girl on GTA 5. Oh please, post that for your wife to see. Oh, shut up. Well, Vinay, the answer to that question is really CyanogenMod. It actually has a feature that allows you to record your phone screen. CyanogenMod will allow you to capture video of the action on your screen of any Android smartphone. And there's support for audio as well, as you can see here in the video. By simultaneously pressing volume up and the power button, users will be able to record the screen of their devices. Moving on to Nexus 7 cases. Hey Jace, I wanted to ask you what your opinion was on the best case for the Nexus 7 2013 edition. So Christian, I really wanted to recommend an article written by our own tech ninja Kevin, where he goes into some detail about his favorite case for the Nexus 7. And I have one similar to this, not e exactly like his. It is linked below his article, but I had the same problem. We bought three Nexus 7s for all of our kids, and with those Nexus 7s, we bought the hard leather, uh, really bulky cases because they're 13 and they drop stuff all the time, and we wanted to have uh, as much protection as possible for those tablets. But it turned out that they just didn't use them. They were so bulky, they would get in the way of interacting with the device and now they don't use anything and of course my daughter dropped it within the first month and totally smashed the device. So what I found, this one is very similar to the one that Kevin recommends. His is plastic and, and fake suede. This is like fake leather. But what they both have in common is these hardened pronounced corners and there's almost nothing on the sides but the corners. And because the corners are pronounced, not only do they provide protection if it lands on a corner, but if it lands on its side, the corners are pronounced enough that they hit the corners first before they actually hit the bevel of the device. And that's a really smart way to provide ample protection without being bulky and adding a lot of weight and mass to the device. It's a great article, check it out. Good question. Now moving on to more notification problems. Hi Jace, I have a problem with my Galaxy S3. I don't receive notifications even though the notification option is enabled on all of my apps. Can you tell me what the solution is? Thank you. So Hasma, I found some instructions that should help you out. Now, in short though, you wanna check whether or not you have enabled the blocking mode on your phone. Check this by going to settings, then blocking mode. If blocking mode is enabled, then make sure the disabled notification option is not checked. Let me know in the comments below how it works. Last question is a favorite topic of mine about using a tablet as a laptop replacement. Jace, I'm ready to replace my laptop, but don't feel like Android has a product to replace a full laptop. I do some gaming and prefer a hard drive over a cloud drive. Am I mistaken in this assessment? So Salvatore, I chose this question because it is a topic close to my heart. I could talk about it all day. And after last week, you know, the short answer is you could consider the uh, Asus Transformer book duet because it is really, it's attempting to be a four in one solution, right? It's both Android, uh, you know, Windows 8, and it's a laptop and a tablet. Now, in my experience as someone who, you know, built a PC that would, uh, I had a partition in it that would have both Linux and Windows PC, you know, after the novelty wore off after two weeks or so, I, I wasn't using both OS's anymore. It was just tedious going back and forth, and I just used Windows 8. It was a bit of a waste of time. Now, I know it's supposed to have a four second transfer between Android and Windows on the Asus uh, Transformer Book Duet, but, you know, my experience, these things are a bit gimmicky and you don't actually end up using them. They may look very convenient on the surface, but I mean, who actually uses these things and goes back and forth all the time? I, I don't know anyone who actually does that. But I can tell you that, you know, last week got really exciting because all these new pro tablets that Samsung has put out is at least an attempt to try and bridge that gap between laptop and tablet. But we're just, the fact is we're not there yet. As much as I wish we were, we're not. Here's a case in point. Part of my job is to um, read and respond to YouTube comments. And when I go on my Android or iOS devices, I can't even respond to individual comments on any mobile or tablet YouTube app. I can't do it. It just, the third party apps don't allow for that type of you know, interactivity yet. 
I have to go to a laptop or desktop to do that. So now I, I should mention that someone on Twitter responded to me about this and said that he is using the Surface Pro, the Windows uh, tablet, as a bridge device and he loves it. It's great, especially because he is really wedded to uh, Microsoft Office, you know, Excel and Word and all that kind of stuff. So I don't think we're there yet. I would get a tablet. That's what I would suggest. Unless you really want to try the, the, the Asus Book Transformer Duet when that comes out. If you do, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your news about it. Thanks for watching Android Peeps. My name is Jace and in the comments below, put your Android question and I'll be happy to answer it. If you see some other questions there that you really like, give it a thumbs up so I know that there are more people interested in that particular topic. Love to connect with you here on Twitter or Google+. Don't forget my brothers in Android, Josh, Joe, and the tech ninja, Kevin. I shall see you next week on Android's Q&A.